Hello and welcome to another edition of Mailbag. What is Mailbag? Well, Mailbag is a feature of the channel where you guys leave lots of comments on the channel and I attempt to answer those comments or if I can't answer those comments, I throw it out to you guys who have more knowledge on some of this stuff than I do. So, let's get into the first Mailbag of this session. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and follow me there. Go over to Facebook, follow me there. That's where the normal notices are. And consider becoming a Patreon. Next question comes from Andrew Vavran, uh, 3498, and it's... Uh, Concerning how to back up and restore the patches on the Roland System 1, a video I did in no, uh, September 2020. Um, and Andrew writes, I bought a second-hand System 1 that has the SH101 plug-out installed. Uh, can I save the plug-out before doing the firmware upgrade? Right, there is a simple answer to this, and the answer is no. Okay, very simple. I could cut the, I could cut the question off at that, 30 seconds in. The answer is no. Um, or what I should say is there is no documented way to unload the plug-out file and to reload the plug-out file uh, in the current cloud environment. Uh, I'm sure it can be done if you know what the right key sequences are. And remember, all this ARIA gear is all about sort of pressing the PT key and this key and the 8 key and the Bank 9 key or whatever it happens to be. Um, but... I've never seen any documentation, uh, even I've, I mean, I even got hold of some some Roland documentation that gives you some hidden key codes, uh, and I've not seen it in that either. I did actually, funny enough, have a look before I did the reply. Um, now, in the years I've owned the System One, no one has ever posted this process, as I say. So it's been being talked about often, and the answer has always been no. Um, now, there is a backup process, so you can back up the patches. Um, before doing a factory reset, so that gets you all your custom patches backed up onto your computer, and then you can do whatever you need to do with them. Uh, and a lot of early adopters really complained about this, which is why it was added in one of the fir early firmware versions, the, the ability to do this backup process. Um, uh, so, you know, that Roland did listen, they did add, add the, uh, the backup procedure in. In fact, they actually added the backup procedure into the TR8, the TBO3, uh, sorry, the TB3 and the System 1 around about the same time because obviously a lot of users, probably a lot of high profile users have been whinging like mad that you know, you've know done a bit of a cock up and they had done a bit of a cock up and not allowing you to back patches up. Um, now, I did think about sort of turn, talking about the, the, um, the short lived standalone editor that existed in the early days of the System 1. Um, which did allow you to back up patches and did allow you to load the system one firmware the um, the plug out firmware into the into the system one without being connected to the Roland cloud account um, but what I would say is that since the Roland cloud has come around and this we're now in the second third iteration of the Roland cloud I suppose but since that has come around, this this particular software was deprecated really, really quickly and removed from all the portals. Now, I do have a copy of this, um, but it doesn't work on my current Mac. It works on, it does work on my old Mac, it doesn't work on my current Mac, but I haven't got a Windows copy of it. And to be honest, it'd be a bit, unless you've got the original SH101 file, which I can't give you because it's keyed to my license, um, then, in fact, I'm not sure whether I do have the original file still or not. Um, but the reality is, it's pointless, a bit pointless me sort of going on and going, you could go down this route because you can't get the software. So it's a bit pointless me sort of talking about it, really. So I'll kind of stop it about there. <laughs> Next one comes from Marcelo3540. 
And in response to Cog T Run, replacing the joystick and floppy drive, a video I did in February 2023. Good God, was it that long ago? Um, anyway, Marcelo writes, great video. My question would be, do you think the T1 joystick is the same as the M1? My M1 joystick has been used since the time I bought it. Uh, new, and it's been quite a long time getting really old and I can't seem to find a replacement. I've never tried, is the honest answer. Um, I think there were quite a lot of interchangeable parts between the T1 and the M1 series. Um, but I've never actually looked at the M1 and the T1 joystick mechanisms to actually see whether they are the same or not. Um, because uh, and basically because I haven't had to do that sort of maintenance um, on my Korg one M1 joystick or my uh, Korg T1, I can't really say um, one way or the other. My M1 is quite a low use machine. Uh, before I bought it, it basically been in a cupboard in a church in Wales for many, many years. And when I acquired it, um, it had, the battery had gone, it had lost all its tones and the guy who was selling it really didn't really understand what it was he was selling. Um, so luckily I managed to pick it up for a song. Um, but the Korg T2 and T3 do use a number of the same components as the uh, M1. Um, they do, I think, have different numbers, but effectively they are the same thing, if I remember correctly. Um, uh, so it is possible that the, the a, a Korg T2 or T3 joystick would be compatible. I'm not so sure about the M1. The M1 is, sorry, the T1, the T1 is a different enclosure. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's a different enclosure, it's got different mounting points. So I'm not sure that is the same assembly, but in the definitely in the in the uh, T2 and T3, I would imagine those assemblies would be the same. Um, basically, you'll have to sort of get a get some pictures of the T3 and T2 assemblies and see if they are the same. Um, but I do believe that that is the case. Um, now, whether somebody in the community can jump in on this and sort of give a definite yay or nay, I don't know, but. I think from my my view would be that they are the same in this instance. Motherboards no, but yes, peripheral components, key bed, keyboard, keys, that sort of stuff, I believe are the same between the two units.